Hey love bugs, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you, welcome. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day. It is so greatly appreciated. And for that being said, much love, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for all. And if you have already been watching my videos and have not already, like and subscribe, you can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you felt like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback, or you just tell me about your spiritual gift. All is welcome, long as it's positive, it's welcome. <laughs> so if you feel like you resonate with the video and it puts you in a good spirit, go ahead and spread the word. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing the love and support and picking up on some knowledge today. And the, vid the, the meditation video or link I'm listening to right now is Heal All Seven Chakras. Pos pop uh. Powerful Tibetan Singing Bowl Meditation Music. I will post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is all empaths seeing your tragedy or tragedies are for another reason. You know, there's sometimes when, you know, we fall short in the things that we go through. And I've talked about that before, you know, it's like our tragedies are for another purpose and stuff like that. But, you know, our pain is for another reason and stuff like that reason why. So this one's going to be different. It's just when you when you look at all the stuff, like if you can just pay, place yourself right now. And look at almost all the tragedies you have ever been, been through. Look at how strong you have gotten. Look at all the positive things that came through all the tragedies you have been through. Because it's like when I look at the stuff that I've been through and I cry and I get upset about certain things. Especially, you know, when I'm missing my dad or something like that. You know, and I look at all the things that I've been through. And it's just like I won't take any of the things that I've, you know, went through for granted. Because... If I didn't go through this, I wouldn't even know half of the things or probably any of the things that I know about myself now. Knowing the gifts that I have, knowing how much I'm able to help somebody else and they're able to help me, able to impact somebody's life or change their way of, you know, their perception of way of thinking, you know, lead them to that positive path. You have to think about all those positive, you know, signs that you got from all the things that you've been through to know that you know these have you know yes we had to go through these things yes they were horrible yes they've been, been very traumatic i don't know <laughs> you know i know what i've been through you know you share with me what you tend to share with me and i'm very blessed that you're able to share with me when you can but it's just like when you're going through this, you know, don't think of it as somebody trying to be, you know, you're being punished. And, you know, and there's a lot of times I used to, you know, there's people that know me that would hear me say at times, I felt like I was truly being punished. But that's, that's the way of me looking at it. And that's not my, you know, that's not actually what happened at all. Even though I did get, you know, when I went through my abuse or whatever, I was, I went through that, but that wasn't something that I had to go through or whatever. That was just something that had to impact my life to, to where it brought me here. So, you know, we don't have control over the things that, you know, we went through with our families or we went through with our parents or our siblings or whatever like that. You know, um, when it comes to little things like that or whatever has brought you to where you're at. You know, no telling what tragedy you have went through. Only you know that. But you have to look at everything as a stepping stone. Be able to look at all your setbacks and all the things that have happened to you. Just to know that it has brought so much positivity to your life. And even though it could be very heartbreaking, you know, if it has brought you into, if you have went through this war and you were able to rise like the phoenix out of the ashes and say, you know what, it, this this situation has made me so much stronger, so much wiser, and has brought so many answers 
to my life that I've been asking myself. And it's just usually when we go through that awakening and saying, what is our purpose in life? What are we doing here? <laughs> you know, why am I going through these things? And then that's your awakening on that path to learn all these things about yourself. And it might be hurtful. You know, there's so many things I learn about myself and about people around me. You know, people that have done things to me. And I'm just like, wow. You know, but then I'm just looking at it like, I look at it as a different thing. You know, I'm just like, okay, this is just, it wasn't meant to punish me. It was just there for me to know. Because when I want to know how deep things go, ten, things tend to, you know, when you speak things into existence, especially when it's wanting to know answers, and you want to, you know, you want to see that light. You want to be able to get that truth, you know. And it sometimes we got to be careful what, what we ask for, because sometimes it could be like hit like a train. You know, and we weren't even expecting that. It's just like, wow, that hurt. But then you got your truth. But it's just like so many things can tend to happen to you. And you're like, you're not becoming numb or saying, oh, I'm used to this. But it's just like, if anything has been thrown at you now, you'll be able to handle them a lot better. You'll be able to react and respond a lot better than, you know, you might have been able to do you know, yesterday or two weeks ago or even a month ago or last year. And that's how I try to look at my things like they're, you know, my tragedies happen for another reason. You know, they're, you know, they brought me so many blessings. They have, you know, made me a lot stronger. You know, it made me gain a lot more confidence in myself than I actually have because I used to be terrified <laughs> to actually be in front of my camera and being able to talk to people, worrying about how people would take me. And it's just like, you have to be, you know, especially doing stuff like this, especially with you being a YouTuber or a blogger, whatever kind of blogger you are, you have to have that confidence in yourself. You have to know what you're able to talk about and be able to stand in into it, you know, stand into it. Because especially when I tell you about something and I'm learning about it, I'll let you know, hey, I'm learning about this. I'm not saying I know everything about it. I'm just saying this is what I know so far. You know, so before anybody can come at you and say, oh, you don't know about this. I'm like, didn't I just say I didn't know? <laughs> I'm just going by what I'm learning now. Because, you know, so many people could be on that path. So just know when you have been through the things you have been through, know that whatever you might be currently going through now, knowing you have that strength to overcome it. You have to be able to find that strength in yourself. And I have to tell my, myself that every day. You use excuses for every single thing that you want to go through. But you can't keep using excuses. And I have to tell myself that. You, you know, and I have to tell myself that still. You can't use excuses for things just to fall back. Just because you're comfortable. Because you don't like the way things are starting to look. And you block yourself when you do stuff like that. You really do. So the things that you go through, look at it a different aspect. And I know it might be really, truly hard. Trust me, I understand. Trust me, I know. I might not know what you're going through, but just know that you will conquer whatever you're going through. You will come out a lot stronger. And you'll come out learning a lot more things that you knew when you start first started this. So trust me, everything that you're going through has a purpose and has a reason. And just know, if you look at it in a positive aspect, you will get a lot of answers to help you along the way so i'm hoping that you were able to resonate with this video you found something you gave you some kind of peace or validation and i hope everybody stays blessed stay stay prosperous and remember you are loved and i will see you on my next video spread out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i will see you on my next video like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line, I would love to hear from you, and stay blessed, I will see you later, peace, and be wild.